happy Friday everybody and I bet you thought this was going to be a video about Tyler Perry absolutely not absolutely not um, but I do want to talk about the haves and the have nots the rich versus the poor um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of nuanced in a way because you know, we like to say, we like to try to kind of eliminate the racism of old, you know, black versus white, um, and say that, you know, it's about the rich versus the poor now. And, you know, there's, that's true to an extent, but not completely true because there's still, you know, poor white folks that, that are racist as hell and, and, and want absolutely nothing to do with dark skin. Um, black people specifically, um, regardless of, of that black person's status or status as an individual status and society status in terms of uh, uh, wealth and, you know, social wealth and economic wealth. Um, but I fall more so along... Um, both sides, you know, both sides of the fence, you know, um, I do at the, I simultaneously believe that there is a, a, a battle between the rich and the poor, while there's also a battle between black and white, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily separate the two, um, not all the time, there are instances where I will, but I will say, in my opinion, um, <clears throat> when it comes to moving from a state of lack to a state of abundance, I believe that you care less about the racism of old, right? So if I'm in a position to print my own money, um, at my own will, uh, because of my own knowledge and skill and dedication and discipline and et cetera, et cetera, I'm not worried about the opinion of others. You know, I'm not worried about a boss that could fire me um, because I determine my destiny on a day to day basis. Um, however, when you're in a position um, I won't say when you're in a state of lack, I'll say when you're in a position where you're not necessarily, uh, your livelihood is based on some system that a person created, uh, and more than likely that system was created by a white person, um, then you, you, you care a lot more about, uh, the opinion of others. You care a lot more about uh, you care a lot more about things like racism and, and who's racist and why. Um, to an extent, you know, at, at, at least you pretend to. Um, but when it comes down to it, you're gonna you're gonna tolerate what you must because you are at the mercy of that system. You know, so when you are in a state of abundance where you control your time, you control your destiny, you could you control your finances, you are oh, how do I even want to say it? None of those things matter really, or they matter a lot less, right? For, for, for many reasons, plus the reasons that I've already mentioned. Um, I, I mean, what else, what else is there to say about it, you know, really? Um, and if you don't believe me, I, 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 I dare you to try it. I, I dare you to try it. I dare you to try to 
move yourself, move your life, move your family's life into a position where nobody can fire you, you know, you, you wake up and do what you want on your own time, and then see how much you care about, see, see how important those things become to you at that point, you know. When it comes to racism, my thought process is that people have a right to their feelings, they have a right to their beliefs, um, and in a way, racism encroaches on my life uh, simply because I'm alive and operating within this system, but as far as a physical encroachment, Nah, I'm not even welcoming or tolerating that kind of thing, you know, so think what you want from afar, feel how you want to feel about me from afar, but you won't do, you, you know, you won't dare do anything to put me in harm's way, you know, you won't, you won't take that risk, so I... That's that's just how I feel, you know. I'm I'm not, I don't wake up every day and and get angry about people being racist. People have been racist for 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 hundreds of years, you know. I I I don't spend any time pontificating on why are people racist in 2020. For well, the same reason they were racist in 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 1920, you know. Um, it's it and it's a waste of time for me to be concerned about that. There's nothing that I can do to change their minds or change their opinions. And there's nothing that I want to do to change the minds or opinions of races. Nothing. I I have better things to do. You know, so I encourage black people to discontinue your concerns about the opinions of racist people and why people are racist. Concern yourself with being one of those who have, you know, whatever it is you want to have, but make sure that that thing that, that you want to have improves you economically, improves your family economically. Um, and see how much you care after that. You know what I'm saying? See how much you care after you have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars just coming to you every three months or every month, depending on how you set up your portfolio, in dividends. And you didn't do anything except dedicate yourself to buying shares in good companies. Imagine that. Imagine how much you care about that. Imagine how much you care if you picked up trading in the markets, day trading or whatever, and you started to make more money day trading than you do on your job in less time. Imagine how much you would care about that racist prick at your job. Like, imagine. Really, right? So, instead of focusing on racist people, and why they're racist, and being upset that racists are out there doing what racists do. Worry about your family, worry about yourself, and worry about how how we can and how y'all can 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 shift over into being one of those that have, instead of being one of those that have not. And that's all I got for this one. I welcome any comments, you know, any any comments, questions, or concerns. I'm open to dialogue. Let me know what you guys think. Enjoy your weekend.